If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it and it's free. And if you're looking for code cards, make sure you check out Poton Store. They have automatic email delivery and all the latest Pokemon TCG codes and you can use Tablemon code for 5% off. If you're from Europe, MealyBotsGaming.com is a great option to get your cards from. They have all sorts of sealed products, merchandise, and all the sets available from Pokemon Sun and Moon upwards, including the latest Hidden Fate set. Don't forget to use Tailmon code when checking out to get a further 5% off from your final purchase. Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new day of Road to TV World 2020. Thank you so much for being here. I really, really appreciate it. We are going to be continuing our um, our tryouts of the top decks from LAIC and also interesting decks that showed up. I have a few in mind. And right now we are going to be playing with the fifth place deck by Andrej which was the Florges Dolstal deck. So Florges is the main Pokemon of this deck with the ability Wondrous Gift. You may flip a coin if heads put an item card from your discard pile on top of your deck. And you may do this as many times as you have Florges each and every turn. Mist card we don't um, care about because we don't even have any energy to power up. But the idea behind Wondrous Gift is we flip a decent number of heads at some point and we end up utilizing Lily's Pokedoll in order to um, <clears throat> in order to recycle and prevent our opponents from taking prize cards because with no Guzma effects with no infinite custom catchers in decks there are only so many attacks that your opponent can do in order to take all six prize cards hello GA lover thanks so much for being here and so we have Jirachi to help us with the cycling of resources. We have Mew as well with the bench fire ability preventing our Florges from getting sniped. We have Latios GX to try and use Clear Vision GX against ADP to stop them from getting extra prizes or using or against something like Espion Deoxys and Mew Mew um, to stop that from wrecking your bench. We have Dull Munchlax because Max Surge is also a really good ability and um, it's the same as Florges for better, but better because you get to choose any card from your discard pile and put it at the top of your deck. However, when you choose to use this ability, your turn ends, so you have to be very, very careful. <laughs> Hello, Nicholas, how are you doing? And then we have the Spirit Dome as a potential um, attacker or finisher, I guess. I don't see any other reason why you wouldn't have the Spirit Dome. Um, but yeah. We have four Steven's Resolve, for Professor Elms, and for Pokegear, so that's how we are going to try and set up. We have our four beautiful Lily's Pokedoll, as mentioned. And then we have Lusamine to have infinite loops of the Lelba and Bryson Men. We have our candies to set up our Florges. We only need like two or ideally three, but with two Florges and one Munchlax, you should be good to go. So on average, you are able to... Um, so that on average, you are able to um, get at least one to two cards every other turn, or every turn rather. And then we have four Stealthy Hood to make sure that um, Nine Tails from Ability Rescue Shard doesn't completely wreck you. So let's go into a ladder and annoy people, right? Because that's exactly what this deck does. Let's annoy people. So if everything goes well, we shouldn't have any interruptions on the stream like we did yesterday. And we should be featuring this deck and Green's Exploration based ADP build and also um, the Gosler Magna Bell DDG deck that got, um, I believe Igor Costa was the highest placing with a top 16 placement. So we get to go first, that's always good. For these sort of decks, every turn you get to stabilize and to set up is always fantastic. And we even start Jirachi, which is the dream, right? It's definitely the, the dream. All right. All right. So we actually topped the Steven's results. That's fantastic to see. But I'm actually going to prioritize the Steven's. I mean, the Professor Elms. That's way stronger here for the setup that is going to be way, way stronger. And 
I don't see why I wouldn't get two floppy babies and one month flax. We don't know what we're up against. We actually don't know what we're up against. So I'm gonna keep the Munchlax in my hand because I do have the Pokecom. I will Stealthy Hood and then I'll pass. Right, and then I will pass. See what we can do here. Let's see what we can actually do. All right. So we see a lily. So I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna try and dedicate at least one day a week to start making VGC content, VGC online battles for certain shield and stuff. I really want to put that back into the, get that back into the channel, get that content going because I do enjoy it, right? For no other reason other than enjoying it. All right. So we are up against Malamar, which is a potentially problematic deck. My opponent decides not to get a KO on the flop baby. All right, so I do top deck where candy, that's really good. So I'm really happy I did not bench that person. Okay, so I'm gonna get out the forges. And definitely wanna rare candy this guy to save it. And then we need sky filler. We basically need an infinite amount of sky fillers. That's gonna be our our goal here, which should be doable-ish. I don't think I want to forget here. I mean, the rare candy is useful as a potential top deck, I guess. So why not? Meh. Why? Sure. Let's put back the rare candy. Because we don't know how many are priced. And then we'll Stevens. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get Sky Filler. We are going to get another Stevens. And hmm. Think I grab L? That seems reasonable. So will my opponent actually KO the flood baby? That's another important question. Still here it is important as well to prevent Giratina from placing that extra damage counter. We get reset stamped, understandably so. So goodbye Sky Pillar. We get it back and we get the Steven, so can't complain there. And we even have a Lusami now. I guess I should have attached the escape port. There was no reason not to. So my boys does choose to take a knockout here, which is perfectly okay. So we're gonna acro. Yeah, I don't mind losing the rare candy. And then I'll bench down two Clefairy Dolts. And I'll Sky Pillar. Delawish for Lusamine is pretty good. That means I have the the loop with double Lusamine to make sure that Sky Pillar always sticks. And then let's go Stevens resolve. I guess I should have retreated. Alright, I kinda like going for these two. Actually, no, like this, yeah. Two flat babies and the Stevens. Because uh, you have to assume, like, Malmar does run Viridian Forest, so... We basically just have to get to a point where we go Belelba every other turn, right? Belelba every other turn. Right, so only damage to the active, that's perfectly fine by me. Uh, acro, find the rare candy, that's very nice. So we're gonna bench both of these guys. Because that way, even if my opponent gets a knockout, it's fine. Let's craft the Steven. And then we'll go 
Retreats. Is there something you want to put back? I guess the Acrobike wouldn't be a bad card to put back. Two Fleet Tails, however, that's fine. Alright, so... Stealthy Hood seem useful. Uh, the Sky Pillar is also pretty useful. I don't know what else though. Maybe a Munchlax? Maybe just a Ryzen Man to start the loop. Hello Turbo Darkness, how are you doing? So I actually don't mind him KOing one and then my opponent is just like, nah, I'm not gonna deal with your deck. I am actually not going to deal with your deck. Which is fair, right? Which is definitely, definitely fair. Alright. Alright. So we are going second against a water deck. Not a bad start, not the best. We can Pokemon for Jirachi, we probably lose the Flababy on turn two, but that's okay. Okay, so we see this is probably Mewtwo. Well, it's ADP, which should be a good matchup, right? What is my opinion on Blounce GX for Daytona? I think Blounce will always be a good deck, as long as you like continually face tag team decks and you get um, good, um, good draws. It's definitely, um, it's definitely a powerful option. All right, Stevens, that's basically all you want right here to get you going. Especially with my opponent's lower start. I wish I had a way to get that Flabibi out of the active, but it's completely fine. It's no big deal. So let's just Stevens then. So let's find an Elms, another Stevens, and I want to say another Jirachi because I'm probably gonna lose the active one like I'm, I lose this and I'll lose this one so and I can't search for Jirachi with Elms um so yeah I think Blast GX is definitely a decent deck as long as you avoid um as long as you avoid Keldeos you should be okay but ADP being super popular that also puts a big dent on the Blounce deck, right? If they focus only on Kaldeo, it could be a little problematic. I don't know. It does seem like a good call, a good call for sure. Um, you probably don't beat these though. And Pidgey can be tricky. Uh, Savage Afric. Uh, ese, ese Guardian hizo Dia 2. El Guardian que usaba más tarde hizo Dia 2. Si, si hizo Dia 2, entonces si. Entonces si. Sí, es muy probable que haga videos sobre él. All right.
Ok, entonces sí, voy a buscar la lista y sí, sí haré ese deck, ok. How's Dolls Doll working out, Paolo? Um, it's working out ok. We've, we're only one game in so far, so nothing super, super huge here. Alright, thankfully no GX attack though, which puts us on less of a clock, right? Um, how are you doing, Alex? It is the one with custom catchers and Ranger. It is an awful doll matchup. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure the only one that plays that would be the greens one. Right? Well, it might be. It does have energy switches. We'll see though. The fact that he loaded this guy up instead of this in the beginning because he didn't have anything better is ends up working out really nicely for us. Alright, so here we're gonna go double Flabebe and Munchlax. And so we will bench, 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 bench. Still a wish a Rooney for Poke Gear. And then we go Sky Pillar, we go this. And then I'm pretty sure we go Smack Search. And we flip heads, so let's top deck an Acrobite, because we already have a Steven. So let's top an Acrobite just to get closer to... We dig a little bit deeper into the deck, which is great. You're playing one Beast Tight. Wait, how does Beast Tight help you for Keldil? Oh, for for nag, like the regular nag. Yeah, that's fair. Cart and boy also works, right? Yeah, having ends probably means no custom catchers, indeed. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here, Alex. All right, so we see Lysia. What kind of Prism Star card is my opponent playing? Voltanian and Cyrus. So there's the anti stall tech. Oh my gosh, that is... Wow. <laughs> wow, that is some really good tech cards against us right here. That is actually... A problem, right? I mean, I guess my opponent doesn't have infinite waters, but yikes. Fairly sure we're gonna end up losing this one because of that. So let's still wish. Let's grab the rare candy. So the question is can we stabilize after my opponent uses this Cyrus? So. Uh, Cyrus lets me keep only two benched, or is it three? It's only two, right? So do I want double Florgus? If it's only one Florgus and Jirachi, then I guess I should just set up one. And let's grab this to retrain two potential tolls, and let's keep a doll in hand. Because I'm probably going to have to put this one back. My opponent decides to use Cyrus me next turn, so... Ugh. <laughs> That Cyrus is going to be problematic for sure. That Cyrus is going to be problematic for sure, for sure. All right. Interesting additions though. Definitely interesting additions to help in this awful matchup, I guess. And Manchas, thank you so much. 20 months of subscriptions. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Okay, so choose two of your bench Pokemon to keep. So I want to keep this one and I want to keep this one. All right, so that's not super destructive. It's not ideal, right? But it's not the end of the world. All right. All right. 
right. Okay, so we'll save right there. We'll very handy here. So what we do need, however, is double Lily's Poké Doll to bypass to make sure that this guy doesn't completely wreck us. So let's poke it here. The elves is very useful, that's for sure. I think I'd rather do that than the Stevens. Yeah, I think that seems good. Fiona is also good. I mean, yes, unless they bench double doll and then you're in trouble, right? <laughs> so it's not like completely fail safe. Oh, sure, let's grab these. And then, so I need a doll off the top right here. There we go. So double doll protects me from Vulcanian and protects you from Fion. So if you expect the dolls, I mean the Fion and things like that, then just bench double doll and you're good. You are good to go. All right, so let's make sure I retreat. And then let's flip. Wondrous gift. I do flip heads, that's great. So I do like having rare candy at the top. And because I have rare candy at the top, <laughs> Jeff, thank you so much for the 208 M&Ms. Very kind of you. Definitely need some M Definitely could go for some M&Ms right now. It had been three months since I had peanut butter M&Ms, and then a kid that I coach um, gave me a bunch of M&Ms in Brazil, and I was very happy with my peanut butter M&Ms. <laughs> thank you so much, man, Jeff. Very kind of you. So because I have the rare candy at the top, I kind of feel like I don't need too much Lex. There's nothing really I need, right? I'm just gonna pass here. Weird to not to choose not to munch likes, but because of the rare candy, I'm happy for that. All right. Hot cup of noodles. Thank you so much for the 13 M and M's as well. Very very kind of you. <laughs> Thank you so so much. I love seeing the M and M's. I think it's a really cool part of the of Twitch. Something you can't do on YouTube, right? And with all the Copa thing happening, I'm pretty sure we'll only be streaming on Twitch from now on. So that's really cool. That's really cool. Thank you so much for the support, you two. Thank you so, so much. Are you ready for San Diego Manchas? All right, so my opponent chooses to use Jet Geyser. See if I make a mistake. But like I said, Double Doll protects you from, from Fion and protects you from Volcanion. And I'm pretty, like, I don't know. So what happens if I choose a stealthy hooded Pokemon? What happens if I choose a stealthy hooded Pokemon after my opinion is this Jet Geyser? Does the Pokemon get switched or does it not get switched? I actually don't know. I actually don't know. And Kimusabi, thank you so much for watching the content that I've been putting out. Um, I will be planning on doing more Expanded, and Expanded will be the focus of the channel after um, San Diego Regionals, okay? So right now there's Daytona coming up, and there's, um, there's Daytona coming up, and there's um, San Diego. So after San Diego, the next tournament will be Dallas. You know, so after San Diego, all my attention will go back to Expanded, and that's when we will focus on that, okay? All right, so this is, here is where I could maybe start using Belelba to attack the deck. I think I'm fairly well set up for now. So I think I'm gonna do that. This card, the top three, I don't lose too, too much. Um, making sure I don't lose Lusa means should be important, so Here's where I think I just Wondrous Gift. I'm looking to put a doll that I can grab with Jirachi. Right, so then I still wish to grab the doll. Make sure I have that benched to protect me from the Volcanion. And then I go Wondrous Gift again, like with Tails. Then I retreat. Oops. 
I retreats and then I go snack search and I flip tails, but that's okay, right? As long as I recycle this, eventually I will flip enough heads to where I can build a little band price and men forever and ever until I deck my opponent out, right? And as long as I average one heads, I should be able to protect myself from um, from decking myself out. Baby clowns converts. Me parece que es muy bueno y mientras no haya mucho mal mal, me parece que es buena opción. Eh, fácilmente ese deck podría haber hecho top 8 en Latinoamérica y llevarse el torneo, la verdad. If you put it on the active. Yeah, but putting it on the active seems silly. I don't know. I mean, I don't want to try it out because then I would lose the prize. So my bunch just passes here. For whatever reason. So let's just wondrous gift. I flip heads. Let's go for these, right? The Poke Gears could be good. To search for the other below bass, let's go wondrous gift. Nice. And then let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna Stevens here. Just to grab Lusamine. Oh wow. Wait, what? So I prized a Belelba and a Lusamine. That's okay. Right? That's okay. Now let's grab the doll. And then do I need anything else really? Probably not, so I guess the other Steven. Now we're in like perfect position, right? Perfect, perfect position here. Guardian siento que no es muy bueno, la verdad. I don't think Guardian is really good right now. Oh my gosh, okay. So the Sonoblast's bench damage could be impactful to the point where I need to open up bench space. Well, my opponent doesn't have infinite water energy, so, so one, two, three, four, five, six. How many water energies could he possibly have? He needs two more to power up this guy and then more water energies for the ability, possibly. One more water, I'm pretty sure he's out of waters. Well, never mind, he's not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess I don't have to worry about that if I just bench me now. Like, how many waters could he possibly, how many more waters could he possibly have? That's the question. All right, definitely grabbing this. And then let's go Lusamine for. Oh wait, I have I just I can't just sky pillar forever basically. I have infinite sky pillars to prevent that from happening. So I can do this. Now I'll grab the Mew. Because I I see what my opponent is trying to do. Because he should run out of things at some point, right? And then okay, so let's go Wondrous Gift, heads. Put that back. And then let's go Wondrous Gift. Heads. Put that back, I guess. Oh, I should have Stellwished before. Oops. To grab the doll. That's fine. This is the, like the sequencing here is not super, super easy to, to remember every time. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. So the, your opponent's energy count is actually extremely, extremely important. Extremely important. Couldn't snack search for the stadium. Couldn't snack search for the stadium. That's okay. Games definitely take a while with this deck, though. But I mean, I'm basically three bill about Bryson Mans away from. KOing, so it's not the end of the world. There we see the altar creation. We are pretty well protected so far. So I'm gonna lose, I mean. Try and establish that once again. That's what, uh, only the second KOing well? Yeah, only the second. So let's go Wondrous Gift, Heads, or Acrobikes, I guess. Mm. Wondrous Gift. 
And then let's go for snack search. Heads, thank you very much. I feel like I just dropped a sky pillar. Well, actually, no. Yeah. Now nah, let's go, Belelba. I don't mind top taking Belelba. How do you beat Cryogonal plus Fion? You don't. I don't think you can. I don't think you can beat Cryogonal. Um, they GX and they go into Cryogonal and then... I mean, I guess you use Spirit Tomb to knock it out. But then if they have two Cryogonals... Well... Yeah, if they have two Cryogonals, then you lose. Uh, to that... Eh, ¿Cómo hacen Sword and Shield? Ya lo terminé. Ya terminé al campeón. Huh, my opponent just passes. Why would he do that? Um, Alright. So discard the top three cards. We hit an energy, that's really nice. And then let's go Wondrous Gift. Wondrous Gift. And Snack Search. Triple Tails turn, that's okay. Yeah, Chandler plus Spiritum. They should just like, I mean, you only need Spiritum really to to knock it out. Um, I guess double Spiritum with two rainbows might do it, but I'm not super sold on it. Chandler only gives you one turn though, so I don't think Chandler would be a good way out of it. I don't think Chandler is actually good enough. Okay, so my opponent, I think, just gave up on life. <laughs> Wondrous. Wondrous. <laughs> si es que yo no hice nada del Wild Area, y ahora sí ya estoy haciendo el Wild Area. Yeah, so I've been playing a lot of Sword and Shield. Um, I skipped the whole Wild Area pretty much for the most part until I, now that I've been in the champion and everything, now I'm there. Um, and I'm at the part where I want to... Um, I want to... Um, I want to get Dittos. Yeah, I want to get Dittos to start breeding, to start getting Pokemon ready for, um, for battling. Yeah, so I'm definitely looking forward to that. And then, there we go. So my opponent, I think, just rage quit there. And I mean, that's basically the deck. Yeah, you cycle through your resources, as long as you flip a decent number of heads and you don't get completely unlucky. On average, you should get enough heads to make sure you have an infinite loop. So yeah, it's a really difficult deck to beat, that's for sure. A very, very difficult deck to beat. All right, so that will conclude our coverage of the fifth place deck from LAIC. If you're watching live on Twitch, don't go anywhere. I will be right back after this.